How often do you have sex? Maybe not as often as you would like to. Do you feel ashamed because everybody around you seems to be enjoying themselves because they do it all the time? In other words, are you normal? Hi, my name is Stefan Buntrock. I'm a urologist and sexologist and I am happy to share with you my professional knowledge in urology and sexology. According to YouTube analytics, Euro channel is mostly watched by Americans and I found a very interesting study on how frequently adults in America have sex. And for the rest of the world, I have some interesting information too. So this is data from the general social survey, including 26,620 participants over a time period starting 1989 to 2014. So overall, on average, people had sex once a week, nearly 54 times a year. I guess you didn't expect that. Most of you probably would have guessed between two to three times a week. And of course, there are differences among the subgroups like young versus old, single versus married, and there may be other important variables such as male or female, educational status, race, work status, geographical region, children under 18 in the household, pornography consumption, and at what historical period we are looking at. I am going to tell you in a minute which cohort had the most sex of all the participants when adjusted for age and respective period. I am sure you will be very surprised. So watch the video until the end to find out. And don't forget to subscribe to your channel, hit your like and activate the bell. Thank you. When looking back in time, something shocking has happened. Americans started to have less sex than they used to. During the mid-90s, the average frequency was 62 times per year, which slowly decreased to 54 times between 2010 to 2014. Married couples who lived together had the largest drop by minus 16.4 times a year. This is remarkable as married couples traditionally have more sex. If there were kids between the age of 6 to 17 in the household, that had a significant negative impact too. The age group which declined the most were those in their 50s. Generally, a decline was seen in all age groups, regions, across ethnicities and so on. I think these findings are very surprising given the fact that our world has become more and more sexualized during the last decades and apps like Tinder have increased the number of potential partners to skyrocketing heights. More people are willing to engage in casual sex, premarital sex and generally more permissive attitudes have developed. So what are the reasons? The authors of the study don't see any connection to longer working hours or use of internet pornography. On the contrary, users of porn maintained a higher frequency than those who didn't watch it. It might have to do with the simultaneous general decline in happiness in society, which was observed because happy people have sex more often. Entertainment alternatives may be a reason, like Netflix, Facebook, Instagram, gaming. When comparing cohorts, an astounding finding was made. By the help of special tools of analysis, it was possible to eliminate age, time and period and just look at the respective cohort. So who had the most sex? The silent generation, those born in the 1930s with approximately 63 times a year. The cohorts with the smallest frequency were the millennials and iGen, born in the 1990s. Their frequency was 57 times a year. The question is, does it matter? And even if there is a decline, what is normal? And this applies not only to Americans, but to all people worldwide. The answer is quite simple. Normal is what two people agree upon and are happy with. Whether they want to engage in sexual activity twice a day or twice a year, it doesn't matter as long as they are satisfied. And of course, young adults have more sex than older adults. Human sexuality has an ever-changing nature. Accept it and adapt. Every age 
has its advantages. However, energy is what fuels sexual activity. Energy is limited and if you use your personal energy for activities other than sex, there will be nothing left for it. Hope that puts things into perspective. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.